So today's video, we're going to take this rhythm A of the hornpipes and build the speed up. We'll start at 60 beats per minute. I'm just using a free app here on my on my phone. I still miss my Korg MA30. That's my favorite. Uh, but the, it's handy to have one on your phone as well. So that's at 60 beats per minute. So try saying this one out loud with me. It really does work. Okay. So you're going to go down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, down, jump up. It's a bit of a mouth uh, tongue twister there. Ready? One and two, go. Down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, down, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, down, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, down, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, down, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, down, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, flat, up, down, down, up, down, that you sit down. I'm just standing up to teach you, but you'll definitely be more comfortable sitting down with moving this hand at the back. And when you do a lot of this repetition, you might find that your hand at the back is getting a little bit tired there, just because when you're doing the same pattern over and over and over again, you're using the same muscles. So you will get quite tired, but we're not going to play this pattern throughout the whole tune. We're going to be changing it up quite a bit. So you will just, you, that's good to kind of give it a little bit of a workout, but if it gets really, really sore and tired, please stop. Okay, so let's try this at 70 beats per minute. It's a little bit harder to say and play this one at the faster speeds. Ready? One and two, go! So if you're feeling that little bit of burn there, it's just the repetitive uh, motion. But it's, it's uh, you, you might want to stretch, actually I would suggest stretching after you've been playing. Don't stretch when your hands are cold, stretch uh, after you've been playing. And uh, let's try that now at 90 beats per minute. I probably won't be able to get my tongue around this one. Try that. One and two, go.
you know what, I just realized that the reason I'm probably getting a little bit, I can't turn this online, <laughs> the only thing about these metronomes, with the Korg MA30, you can just press the button and it just stops, but you have to kind of slide things on this, this one on the phone, so that's one of the, my pet peeves about the metronome apps, is the, it just doesn't have that precision of starting and stopping that I like with the Korg MA30. But no, I think I noticed that when I'm standing up playing and I'm trying to actually support the drum with my with my arm here, I'm holding it a lot tighter, I'm more tense here. And then when I'm sitting down and I have my leg for support, uh, it, I don't think I'm holding it in as tightly. So I think uh, that might come into play. So if you're getting a little bit tired there, um, it might be because you're bracing it so tightly uh, or if you're standing up like I am. Here we are at the final speed of 100 beats per minute. Ready? One and two, go. that speed, but you probably won't need to play it any faster than that.